Hello, Merry Christmas. Welcome to the Cowboy for Game 2023 yearly special. Uh, I'm your host, Jake, and today I'm joined by Festive Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. And uh, sports enthusiast Bragg from Braggio. Hello. So, uh, thank you all for your submissions to our uh, Google Docs form in order to help us compile the list of best cards, decks, and products for 2023. Very much appreciated. What, uh, what you get product did you get for Christmas, Jake? Um, I decided I would uh, not purchase the terrible, terrible uh, stainless steel god cards. You ruined my segue. Well, you didn't really instruct me on the segue. You just said you had it, and then you set me up, and it sounded like that's what you wanted. But they put up a picture, and like, oh, it's holidays, it's like, I was like, oh, it might actually be something good. We're due a couple of other products as well, we're due for something different. And this is different. It is different. But in a bad way. <laughs> it's so fucking awful. Like, for one, the artworks that they've made, because I've not seen these before, the, the, artwork... the manga artwork. Yeah. Okay, they're very bad. We have so m- they we have so Sacrilege. we have so bad. many bad art. we have so many no, god are. card arts that you could choose from, and those are what they went with. Look, certainly, but still, they're from the manga. You got you, you just got to B the source material. B what is that text? Yeah, it's the text. The, the raw one looks the, all right. Yeah, it's yeah. the text from the anime. But it's the translate, like, if it was Japanese, I'll be like, oh, cool, that's, that's what it looks like. But it's so badly done, I'm like, yeah, sure, that's what the English manga looks like, and I hate it. It's so bad. And then the price. Oh, I didn't see the price. It's expensive. Way too much. It's right. like 400? Oh, oh, damn it. It's so much. 400. I think. The... Surely it should be 300. 100 per card. Call it that. It's it's and that's too much. Because it's stainless steel cards. Still. It's... Despite the fact that the OCG did this, charged $150, yeah. and did the regular artworks and regular text, and it still didn't sell out. You can buy it online right now for 150 bucks. So if the OCG didn't do this, where'd they come up with the idea? The OCG did do this. Oh, they, they just, did, they just with the manga. They just didn't do the manga art. No, that's what I'm talking about. Like, so Probably because they were like, oh, it's the anniversary. So, we're going to find yeah. some legacy things. Why in... Our market, did they go, oh, we're going to get the manga art. That's just... That's weird. It's because fucking Jerome... Jerome <laughs> here. And he was like, guys, guys, don't worry. I've got this. So all of the product department went home for Christmas. Yep. And he was like, catch me tweet. <laughs> yeah. Jerome, <laughs> you whips up a picture. I'll Jerome was on this. the good list this year. No. He had worked his way not back. Anymore. Not anymore. Simply by not fucking up. And now, here he is. Jerome heel turn. He's getting coal. Yep. So, Santa's uh, coming for you, Jerome. <laughs> He's coming for you. <laughs> so, uh, starting us off, we're going to chat about the best cards yes. of 2023. Yep. So, for 2023, uh, everyone put in, uh, everyone selects three, we rank them first, gets the most points, second, third, only gets the one point, whatever. So, uh, most of the times these lists have been pretty messy, especially when it comes to cards. This is the smallest pool of cards that we've had get through to the top. Like into people's top threes, and therefore the the winner is the biggest we've ever had, which is kind of weird because we'll get into it. Interesting. <clears throat> At number five, we have Bestial Dissipator. Card I don't own because I, when I wanted to buy it, it was twenty bucks, and when I went to buy it, it was forty five, and I was like, it did go up in price. I got, I think I got mine at thirty five, so. Like, not super cheap, but as like, I needed to just have it. So, I'm glad that I have it now. Yeah, this kind of snuck through. Uh, and, it, I mean, it is a good card. It's a very solid card. Top It's definitely top ten. Yeah. Top five, I'm like, oh, there's a couple others I'd put over it. But look, the people have spoken. It is the fifth best card of the year. I did not vote for this card. I can't remember if I did or not. I may have. I voted anonymously, so Bragg wouldn't know who I was. There's a few, no, and there's a few anonymous shit posters, which, I mean, I kept some of their votes because I'm like, oh, it's hilarious. Otherwise. Now, number four, we have Diablo Star, the Black Witch. She, I get it. I understand it, but yeah, I don't, I feel like she'll end up being the best card of 2024. Yeah, I think a lot of this is a lot, like, is potential. It did lead Rescue Race to winning YCS. Did Rescue Race win YCS? I may have made that fact up, but hey. 
You believed it. No, uh, because it was a rescue race mirror. So yeah. it would have had to have. <laughs> but did it happen before or after the release? It was after. It was after. Because they thought that one list was running Diablo and the other wasn't, remember? Uh, but they no, were both were. worth. Too much eggnog. <laughs> yes. Which I haven't had any this year. Yet. Wait. I was going to say, that's way too late to be saying that. It's because it's 3 a.m. Christmas morning. It is. There's or is time. it 3 a.m. Christmas night? Either way. It's a nondescript time. <laughs> and number three, triple tactics thrust. I you forgot. don't thrust with me anymore. Yeah. You did it you did it last week too. Yeah. It's because I forgot that we we did that. Yeah. I mean, I guess I only remember it because I'm also doing the highlights episode. Out next week. Look forward to it. Don't. Yes. Look, uh, look out for the highlights. Yeah, it's it's shaping out to be a doozy. <laughs> uh Frost, yeah, look. Greg downplayed last year's highlights, and I thought they were fantastic. I like them, but again, there was an omission that I was sad about, but I have no one to blame but myself. Got to, yeah, send, me the, got to send me the time codes. Send the time codes. Got to send the time codes. You can still send the time codes. Uh, thrust, good enough for side decks. No, I think it's a main deckable card. Depends. Has any lists even, like, the winning lists haven't even been maining it? In Unchained, they almost definitely would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Unchained. We'll get to we'll get to them. We will. And number two, Kashira Riseheart. I think I voted for this as my number two. Yeah, it did effectively keep Tier Element at bay while it was in the meta. Yeah, uh, and and I mean, it got limited and then banned. That to did me it? is like, was it limited? Yeah, yeah. It got limited. I don't remember this. Like. Limited and then banned is a, a treatment they've only given other powerful cards, so 100% makes sense. Uh, did it all within a calendar year? Pro- did it all within six months? Probably should be number one. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I it's mean, it's if, pretty good. If you take the metric of like being in the meta for such a relatively short time you would pretty much rank that as the highest card. But I think the other thing too that probably salts it for some people or sours it for some people rather is that they weren't playing that deck so they just hated that card. So it's hard to view it in a positive light. Yeah. But you still, you got to put respect on it. And number one card of 2023, SP Little Knight. Yeah, yeah. I think that was my vote for number one. Yeah. Uh, we... It was it, it was a bit more of an even field, and then on the second when we promoted it. So yeah, in the team we weren't really voting for it, and the few people were early in the Discord. But then there was a huge wave where it was everyone's number one, and rightfully so. It is a really good card. I'm not sure if it's. I mean, obviously it's better than a Rise Heart now. Yeah. But it's sig- it's significantly more usable than a Rise Heart. Yeah, that's but it's not as oppressive. Yeah, it's a good. It's just a well-rounded card. It just, yeah. Will it be hit next year? Potentially. Like, if anything, I could see maybe IP getting done, just so you don't have yeah, the, the off turn. turn. Yeah, the off turn options. I don't think it's powerful enough to warrant any of those cards getting hit, because like, unicorn is close to the same thing. Like, mm. you have you go minus one on your discard, or you get a trade-off on your discard and you're getting a card removed that's not going to the graveyard or back to the hand hmm. so like I don't I don't think it's that bad like this card is fine to exist don't have an issue with it in the slightest I agree and it's it's the kind of card that like we care about now but it's gonna get power crept in like two years yeah like, it'll be in everyone's extra deck for now and it will eventually get power crept it's one of those staple cards that we're always complaining about and in the long term, it doesn't matter. Uh, so this joins... Uh, I mean, so this is the second time a Lynx won, Sprite Elf. Sprite Elf was last year? Yep. Um, Makes sense. Another card that barely lasted six months. Yeah, so I mean, I think Sprite Elf is better than this. Yeah. Most people Similarly both. generic. Got it. Like, if we had this card any earlier in the game, it would have been... Oh, Lynx would be so much different. But, yeah, Lynx lasts for R, maybe. I miss Nightmare Goblin. Surprised that didn't get unbanned. 
But I don't think people remembered it. True. Yeah, we are dealing with a relatively fresh player base. Yeah. The fact that, yeah, Nightmare Goblin's not in Pete Ike is like, oh, I don't know, I've never read this card. It's like, hmm. <laughs> that, wow. That, that, was, <laughs> that was barely any time ago. There's been so much more. Oh, uh, yeah, so good wrap up on the cards. Um, a few weird other one missings. Was there any interesting shout outs in there? Someone voted for the watch, you know. <laughs> that wasn't me. My number three was emergency. That makes sense. Yep, yep, I can see it there. You were the only vote. <laughs> Should have been number one. On to the decks. At the, the fifth best deck of 2023. Pearly. Yep. Again, it feels really short-lived in the TCG. Like, it still performs, but, like, because it got that super early hit, it just feels like... And a good hit. Like, yeah, I, remember, yeah. like I remember that ban list of, like, oh, shit, they're onto it. Like... Yeah. It's but, like a gut punch for the consistency. Like, they just and knew. And it barely come out of the gate, either. It was so soon. Yeah. And they're just like, you sit down. Yeah. Sit. <laughs> sit, cat. <laughs> you don't get to just wander around doing whatever you want, bouncing shit. Spinning? Spinning's the correct term, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes I, I hear judges love that term. Oh. Put it back. We move. Number four for 2023. Wait, that was number five? Yeah. Yeah. Why was that so low? We've had a lot of decks perform really well this year, to be fair. I, I think I picked Pearly at my number three, or maybe number two. Um, I get it. You know, I guess kind of weird to have them that low, but at number four is Unchained. Who have won more YCSs. Yeah, but it also was mostly released five years ago. But that's that the thing with that deck, A, I didn't expect it to be meta. Like, I, as I've said multiple times. For these, the traditionally, other... I also vote... I don't vote for a deck if it wasn't mostly released this year. Oh, uh, really? Uh, I don't mind, because, like, it's kind of a way to acknowledge decks that do have the, the key reprints. Like, yeah. you know, uh, Spiral wouldn't have got nominated, right? Mm. And Spiral's clearly that best deck of... That was like that was our first winner, wasn't it? No one striker. Um, but yeah, the other thing with that is the support changed that deck quite a bit. Like everything just seemed to align for that deck at the right time. Like you had level sixes that enabled the negate. You had the new link two, which now prevents you from dying from a severely broadcasted play of "I'm about to link your shit," which is what the deck suffered from in its early days. Mm and the recursion that you have in the being able to set stuff directly from deck thrust being available sp being available everything just came together for that deck at the right time in the right meta whereas if it had been a slight timeline shift it wouldn't have been performing as well okay and number three the elements i guess <laughs> no I don't think like the issue is you it was only two months right and then cash yeah. yeah so it was only the first two months and they were they were pretty strong to begin with like YCS YCS, YCS Sydney was 2023 yeah. the other thing is too like sure it's coming back now but you compare it to the deck it was in that January YCS and it has fallen so far yeah it's it's like, it's alright now. It's fine, it yeah, does you can, stuff. You can maybe win a Locals. But, <laughs> I'm not sure... It, it, it's up there. I would, I think Pearly... Pearly should bump up one, this should bump down a couple. Yeah, definitely. In my opinion, but... Look, everyone likes their Tillamas, I guess. Maybe or they fear them. The two should be switched. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But still... This deserving. is what happens when we leave the votes out for the people. The other, thing is, the, poll. <laughs> the other thing is too, I think you tend to only focus on like when a deck was at its oh. best as well, sometimes, or like you focus on one they end did. of the spectrum rather than the other. They did win more YCSs this year than Unchained. And Pearly for that matter. It's a fair point. Yeah. Yeah. That, that would have had to have. <laughs> yeah. And number two, Cash Tira. Yeah. Sure. Yep. Um, just a whole bunch of 
like one of the simpler archetypes. Like it's just crazy that I just went, yeah, let's just make a whole bunch of busted cards. Which makes a busted deck. Yeah, to a... That's just like good Master Duel times. It did get a prize card banned. It did get a prize card <laughs> yeah. banned. Oh yeah, and the, the, the zone lock on stream. Yeah. Like, that was pretty iconic. Pretty good. And so, let's never think or speak of that ever again. At number one, Ben, have you put it all together? It's not Rescue Ace. It's Rescue Ace. <laughs> Best deck! Woo! Oh, Who'd have thought that and a deck... And the mighty have risen all the way to the top. From jokes to the best. Yeah. Well, a deck that can set four disruptions from deck every turn, as well as Link Climb, and has uh, one of the new best search engines possible, it's... Yeah. It's going to come together. It is really good. And when we saw it, we were like, that's really good. Is this, it's obviously missing bits. Is this one of the most heroic rises of a deck in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh? If, the of the, if the, I say the yes, can we stop talking year, about it? <laughs> I treated that deck like a complete joke that only I was in on. And now we've come to the end of the year, and it is arguably the best deck. That's the thing with decks at the moment, is there is such a wide array of decks that are performing really well, yeah. that it is somewhat arbitrary to say that any one deck is the best, that one is probably the more consistent and one of the more prevalent. But, like, we just had Bestial Runic win a YCS. We've had Unchained win YCSs. Like, it's so open at the moment that if you just build your deck right at the right time in the meta, like, if you just have the right matchups, you build it correctly for what you're thinking on a verse, you could do well with, like, any one of ten decks. Has there been a final of a YCS that didn't have Rescue Ace in it, though? I don't think so. Oh, we, no, we had the, the Unchained Mirror. Okay. But they both, or well, they beat, one of the beat Rescue Ace to come through. And yeah, yeah. Other, oh, no, yeah. The, the other they've... beat um, Infinite Wars pack. Like, the last few months, they've been there. Even before that, they were, they were floating around. Overperforming. We love them. Uh... It, I, I, think, I think it stacks up to the other previous best decks. It joins Tier from last year. I was going to say Tier would have been Sword Soul the year you. before. Adam Emancipator the year before that. Oh, fucking Adam Emancipator. The COVID year. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Where the best deck didn't really... Get to play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Owning the physical copies of Adam Emancipator was the most useless purchase you could have hey, made I that year. I could do test hands through lockdown. <laughs> also, this was Can't a... go outside and I'm just like... Summer researcher. Uh, there was a few good points ahead. And also, there was a one point in... I mean, in the initial, like, in the initial counting I was doing, I'm like, oh, wow, this is taking up a lot of points. It was similar to SP, actually. And then just the next bunch, tier got boosted up a bit. A few flunder for votes. Uh, <laughs> Who the fuck? I mean, the one that I copy and pasted as the name, like, in, in putting it together, like, because I'll just then, I'll paste one and then I'll just count and stack all the, like, all them together. The one that I have is in my heart. In brackets, Flanderies. So whoever that is, I sorry. have a feeling I know who it is too, and you know who you are. Yeah, Jerome. <laughs> uh, That's why all the Flander well, cards are on the. It's Marcello. Yeah, yeah. This is Italian, and they people love that. Do you reckon he was in his house in France, or he, he was in his uh, house used? In Italy. Okay, but I reckon he may have used VPN to get from his house in France. They do say home is where the heart is. And the heart is in Italy. But the house is in France. <laughs> <laughs> There's only two things I know about him. His full name. And then he has two houses. I know nothing else about him. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be a super interesting person. He could have fought in the Korean War for all I know. But I don't think that he has two houses. <laughs> He's just in mash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't do that again. Please, no. <laughs> well, get copyright stricken because yeah. your vocals are so on key and <laughs> correct. My cello in the air, and you'll come to me like. <laughs> 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 
Forty spell out on the rocks. Hmm. M pen. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For products, uh, so I mean, rescue, <laughs> Ace, and SP, both pretty big leaders. We'll use that to forecast how we're going with this. At number five, the products of 2023, Photon Hypernova. I don't think I bought this set. Tell me what was in it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I heard it for it. I'll be real. There was like two products where I was like, these are good products. The rest of it, I was like, oh no. I yeah, have to like for one of these. I had. Um, I have to remind myself what was in Photon. I had one. I had one main set in my one, which a bunch of other people did, and I imagine That's you both did. It wasn't Duelist Nexus. Was it? Did I have a Duelist Nexus? Number four is Dueling Nexus. Okay. Duelist Nexus. So yeah, this is like, yeah, this is a few, this is a few main sets. It was a pretty shit year. <laughs> yeah. Look. We had some really great stuff and then just a lot of shit in the meantime, to be honest. Yeah. Like, there's, there were so many forgettable releases this year. So many forgettable releases. Yeah, it was pretty uninspiring, except for... Like, I almost put Structured X in my top three procs of the year. I may have actually done that. Yeah. I... Uh, well, to spoil it, Crimson King and Fire King Structures did get some points from a few uh, knowledgeable people. Yeah. Two of them might be at the table. I, I think I actually put Fire King Structure X as my number three. Uh, but they have not cracked. Yeah. The top. They should have, maybe. Structure decks are for next year, when we get to the best of 2024, you are free to vote for the Sky Striker Structure Deck. <laughs> which we will be getting. Yes. Fucking. Let's Seb, Seb's peaked in There's just too much Sky Striker stuff. There, there's a 2024 prediction. Heard it here first. Sky Striker. Sky Striker Structure Deck. Yeah. Like, there's just too much. I like, give it more support. Yeah. Or, yeah. Well, no, I think. Ideally, they just consolidate all the shit they have into one box. Will it be the first structure deck that they've ever done that they don't have a, tra a trap in it? That'd be pretty funny. No, they'll put Imperial Order in it for the lols. Yeah, just to bash it down a bit more. They'll make it something worse than common. Uh, number three, Amazing Defenders. I completely disagree. How is this not number one? Ben's outraged. Well, I mean... Count the votes. <laughs> Number two, I mean, Amazing Defenders by itself. Amazing Defenders should have been number one. I mean, I agree, but a lot of people don't aren't into uh, dancing women, fat cats, and how is this? I'm genuinely stumped as to how this is number one. Well, I mean, like when I went through all the product this year, I was just like, this is all garbage. Well, Nexus is what got the extra support for both Pearly and you, I can... Nah, Pearly was... Pearly got a card in Nexus, but it also got other cards in another set. It wasn't Nova. What was the middle one? Cyberstorm. Yeah, Cyberstorm Access Which was Cyberstorm a Which Cyberstorm is set. not in the top two. Yeah, because it was garbage. Cyberstorm Access was just... Yeah. A bunch of support cards. Got a couple of those, though. So whoever that is... You're right? You're right? <laughs> <laughs> Number two, Age of Overlord. This is a good set, though. It is a good set. Still didn't deserve to be. It's clo It was close with the defense. Then, okay. Rescue Ace won best yeah. deck. It's okay. The you don't sets, have to win everything. The reprint sets are going to be number ben. one. Ben, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> How often do you get a set where you can buy a case and have three decks that can win a YCS? At more points than the rest of the top five combined. Yeah, that's math. Rarity Collection is number one. No. Rarity Collection cost uh, you $250. A lot of people liked it. For the cost of... For the most that, votes we've ever gotten. Four meta decks. Yeah. Instead, you chose to have Rarity Collection. We didn't get... Why did you not have those cards beforehand, you poor piece of shit? <laughs> they short printed some of the stuff from Amazing... Def not short printed, but those Ultras and Amazing Defenders were a bit... <laughs> <laughs> this man a hat and glasses oh yeah uh, yeah there, there was a visual joke there sorry audio listeners yep he's um if he's... you want to be more part of the uh visual gags like and subscribe he just hates he's, rarity collection it is a good set 
It's an objectively good set. I agree. Amazing Defenders the is better. The cost is an issue. I understand this. But putting that aside for a second, it did give a lot of the player base access to cards that weren't reprinted or were simply too expensive prior to this. But I already have those cards. Again, yes. it's not about you. He didn't have the cards from Amazing Defenders until he got Amazing Defenders. Yeah, and that's why, and that's why it's a, a democracy. Good point. He's so genuinely upset by this. It's actually hilarious. I'm telling you, Ben. Democracy. You've got to love it. This you is have democracy's to love it. <laughs> democracy. Democracy next. <laughs> democracy. <laughs> if he stumbles out in that YouTube video, I reckon that's got more views or less. No, he's too clear. He's too articulate to mess up. Too articulate. You would never make a mistake on stage. Yeah. Uh that and yeah, as I said, this is more than any other product vote that we've ever had. It beats the Mega Tin, the good Mega Tin from two years ago. Yeah. Remember when Mega Tins were good? I don't even think that Mega Tin was good. <laughs> from two years ago. What was that one? That was was that Crossout Designated Tin? The Crossout Tin. Yeah, no, the Crossout Tin was bad. The tin before it was great. Yeah. That was number two. Burst of Destiny was the number one that year. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes, that makes sense. sense. Return of the Jewels to you before. We didn't touch um, body that one. Yeah, it's just... Look. There's a lot of points. A lot of people. A rarity collection gamers. The funny thing is, and I've said this before, is that the rarity collection at first seemed like it was going to be great for collectors. And it ended up just being good for the budget players because they could get Barones and Prosps and Veilers and all that kind of shit for a lot cheaper than what they ever wanted. I'd like to point out that Instead of spending two hundred and fifty dollars on a box of rarity collection, how long do you reckon this is going to go? You oh. could have spent two hundred and let's be nice, spend two hundred and ten dollars buying the five to six staples that you needed out of that box. Uh, the Baron before that ate up a chunk, it didn't like it? Sixty. It had been reprinted. I thought Baron was like still ninety or something, wasn't uh, it? it? It there were opportunities where you could have bought it for forty. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But. But people did. <laughs> At the same time, and again, we've said this before on the pod, it does feel nice that you can crack a couple of packs of it and you're bound to pull something shiny, which some people like, or something good, which people also like. I think a bit of recency bias as well. Yeah, there's a bit of that. And we've had history of that in this. We probably should do like a pre-voting video for people and just remind them of stuff that's happened in the year. Yeah, that's actually, yeah, that's genius. We should do that next year. Yeah. We'll do a, a little wrap-up vid. Ben can get on his fucking soapbox about whatever we deck he's sell. championing that year. Not even a deck. I'm championing a set. One of the greatest sets of all time. Yeah. Up there with Secret Forces. Yeah. Oh, yeah. better than Secret Forces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All three are good. We were saying that before. All three are good. Uh, Canahawk got banned. True. Yeah, they're not... Wait. Well, Who's in Secret Forces? Yeah, yeah, Ritual Beasts aren't the problem with the, the, the third. <laughs> yeah, but Canahawk got... Oh, what was the third? Exactly. Ah, you'll send you. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Lockham plays it. <laughs> That's yeah. a ban in and of itself, because he doesn't play the game anymore. Ah, uh, yeah. You send you is no McCunker. We can't go all the way. Best third deck. It's one of YCS. Yeah. Has your Sanjo ever won a YCS? <laughs> no. Didn't even make day... No. Has it ever made a day two? Oh, I'm sure it has. Because Blake whiffed on it, didn't he? Yeah, because he versed Exodia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How them Kaju's doing for you, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I... Yeah, I've definitely mentioned on the podcast before. I would always want to. Like, I always want to know, like, if he had gotten through to like sec the second day where a bit more of the th herd's thinned out, how he would have gone. I mean, hey, if Mermail can beat Exodia, yeah. then I day two that was yes with Exodia. It was disgusting. It was bad. Uh, Mermail. anyway. Any predictions for twenty twenty four? Uh. Vikings is going to win a YCS in March. Interesting. Well, I mean, like, I hope so. Well, that would be our YCS. So you think it's going to win our YCS? It's going to be him. 
Vikings will win YCS Sydney. Interesting. Interesting. As long as the Yard will start package isn't hit before it. But I don't know if they'll hit it, because that's will, now I. the Albaz law of the current generation. So I don't think they're going to hit... feel like them limiting Brandon oh. Brand Fusion. Well, I haven't done that yet. I mean, they did in thingy. Exactly. Yeah, because the OCG loved it. They they latch on to their decks, and they don't let go until you, like, murder it. And they're probably going to do that with this. Can they hit um, Wanted? They won't. Wanted the one? Maybe. I don't mind running her. Like, I'm almost tempted to just run two, like... I can't bring myself to play two. I mean, if Wanted's at one, you'd have to, right? Yeah, I hard draw it anyway, so, like, there's no point. Yeah. No, just well, they, just open they, it, he says. Or yeah. they, do they limit her? Just draw the brick. Uh, what are, like, you don't have any predictions? Not really. Anything you want. I'd like to see... A, I'd like to see a new link spam deck. Who asks for that? You get one Christmas wish and you ask for links. Well, it's not a Christmas wish. It's it more is a, now. Well, I wish to change my wish then. Right, what are you changing it to? I want to see more fusions. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see fusion climbing. Well, surely they do a fusion part of the law. Well, that's what I was thinking, but I, I don't know how that would work. Why? Give him a level one fire that's a confusion summon on summon. I don't know. I don't know what I want. Uh, how long does this fire year of fire going? It's still going in the OCG. They're still announcing prints for fire for next year. So, because we've had we had we had a water moment there. We've had the wind one. Are Is, we are we counting the year of earth as the year we got? So, spaces? so back up a bit. When when was the year of water? Do we have a water yet. set? With the like we had We did, but it was yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, we had the water set and then wasn't there water support in the two sets surrounding that water set? It was bad. Yeah, but it was the intended the, the year. The year of fire yeah. has been hard pushed though of like we're yeah. gonna give as much good fire cards as possible. Because they do do cycles, like they go, Oh yeah, we're gonna do a bunch of support. Did um Moray of Greed come out the same year as Mermel? No, Moray was around for before then. I was going to say that was the year of water then. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, that was... I mean, Abyss Rising was all water. And then we had the structure deck at that time. And then we went to the Fire King ones. Yeah. It's all a cycle. Bring back... Necro's cycle. Maybe another attribute <laughs> eventually. Well, a new attribute. Yeah. Mm. I don't think I want... Do I want to see it? Nah. 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 A combination of we, all we the attributes. We can't change the sacred attributes. Yeah, I don't know how that would... We can't function. change it. We can't. It would retroactively ruin so much product. Really? Do you like the dice sets? They come with... Oh, yeah, them. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... I mean, that's not product you sell, though, so you don't really care if you ruin it or not. I just realised that both of our giant cards were darks. They are. Huh. The third was dark... Wait, is the infinity dark? No, Infinity's it's light. Dark. Come on, Cyber Dragon, keep up. He's dark. He's also been touched and now he's not straight. Look, it's soon to be 2024, it's time. Exodia's... Uh, Exodia support. Yeah, those hands have got to do something. Did we ever get the Chibli Exodia in TCG? I don't think we did, right? Chibli? Chibli. Like Chiba. Whichever one, I don't know. I've only ever seen it written, Chiba. I've never heard it said. Chibi? Chibi? Chippy. I'm not saying that ever again. Uh, what was my prediction before? It's gone now. <laughs> Got you in oh, there. the Sky Striker prediction! Yeah, you said Sky Striker structure yeah. deck. Yeah, that was it. That's First. not a wish, though. Yeah, please no. No, I'm not going to wish that. Uh, I want... I just want goblins to be playable. They're yeah. playable, they're just not good. But I wouldn't class them as playable anymore. TCG exclusive goblin support to send them to the moon. Oh, we've got it. that coming soon too. Goblin? The, no. The um, Pyro um, TCG exclusive archetype that's coming in the next set. Year of fire, baby. Oh my god, that... Oh. Can't wait for it to be so bad. Yeah. Yeah, imagine it's in the year of fire, you release a fire archetype that has it's, oodles it's, of support it's gonna and you just make it shit. It's going to archetype lock you. 
I don't know. They're about due for a good archetype. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. like it's going to hard archetype lock you and not be good. Yeah. Because they're going to be like, they have a generic search and we have to make it, we have to lock you. I don't know. I feel like they're due for another Cosmo or um, Danger iteration where they just make it busted for no reason. It's been so long since we've had a good TCG archetype. Yep. Every time we're like, this is the one. Nope. And then, yeah. They can make it really good. They could. No. Um, fucking War Rocks. And none of them we can really retroactively make good, right? Like, we saw the potential I, with a few of them. I think you can make, um, I want to say Plunder Patrol. Gold Pride. Gold Prides. Yeah. You've done that a couple times now. Confused yeah, Gold Pride with Plunder Patrol. They both look the, they all look the fucking same. It's the same artist, surely. Because I think gold, and I'm like, steal the gold. <laughs> Plunder Patrol. <Yeah. laughs> That's literally how my brain functions to remember that. Was Plunder Patrol was Plunder Patrol was TCG as well? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Gold Pride! <laughs> you know, the only way I confirmed that that was true, because I remember that they got that extra monster later. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's like, that's like the thing that yeah. made me go, actually, no, Jake's right there. Yeah. They still haven't got their, the Gold Pride, still haven't got their OCG iteration Sh of support. The new ship? Hmm? No, CG no, gold Pride. Oh, Gold Pride. Yeah, not the gold one you pride. keep mistaking it for. <laughs> okay. They haven't, and who knows, that could be good. It could be good. Why, that deck maybe just takes one good card to make it faster. Like, it's so it clo infinitely it's so searchable. close to being good, and it's just off. Yeah, it's one good card away. Where's the Gold Pride TV producer? <laughs> could make an anime out of that. That could. They won't. They'll do a Sky Tracker one before they do anything. Oh, oh my god. my god. Oh my god. Imagine that after years of saying that they should make a fucking lore line into a fucking anime, they do it on Sky Striker and then I just end up jumping off a fucking building. Oh my Christ. Don't do it, TV Tokyo. Don't do it. Please, no. <laughs> Imagine too, and they just like have amazing production to, values. They get amazing voice actors involved. Fucking Surely Scarlett Johansson's in there for some reason. Yeah, playing oh. a Japanese girl. Yep, yeah. that's what she does. Yeah. Well, I mean, she was she was good in that movie. I don't care what people say. I mean, the character's not really anything. Right? Yeah, it's literally a robot. Yeah, yeah. There's a made in Japan on the run. Oh there. yeah, true. <laughs> Brief cameo by seven. Uh, but thank you all very much again yeah. for your votes. Uh, very much appreciated. Thank you all for uh, being in our Discord and being part of our little community. Uh, would love to see that grow over 2024. That's my Christmas wish. Yeah, I do share want to us. see. Yeah, yeah share us around. Like, share us, tell a friend. Make a second account and like, subscribe. I hate <laughs> all three will do. <laughs> I also feel awkward talking about like promoting like even like podcasts like i listen to where i know it's you kind of insular you listen to it but if you could just tell even like one person i'd appreciate it we'd appreciate it just get one person listening and if they hate it then yeah sure whatever but just share it around share the love and that's how we hopefully get a couple more of yours my goal for 2025 is to get slapped by jerome get us there 2025 yeah yeah Set by, by 20 like in 2025 or in by 2025 20 ah sure Part so, of his five year plan. Yeah, we're going to have to be building up all next year of how to get you into his. We've got to find that shed. We've got to stun on Konami HQ. 2024 is the year of Heal Jerome, so 2025 is going to come around and he's going to be ready. Yeah. Got to, got to finish the story. The lore, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all again, and we wish you all the best for 2024, and we look forward to seeing you then. Peace.